Lights out automation. Don't take it literally. It's not lights out in the environment. It's basically uh, doing processes within the fulfillment center without people. Uh, and in today's world, we're having a difficult time finding labor, people that want to come into this environment and provide that uh, service. And so in order to be able to fulfill the uh, deficiency that we have, uh, we need to supplement that with technology and innovation, things like robotics, conveyance systems, sortation, software. If we really think about what we've seen over time, the history of lights out automation, we've had lights out automation in manufacturing. If you think about robotic welding of car uh, bodies, uh, paint spray booths, those are truly in those standalone processes, lights out, no human touch. Fulfillment and distribution tends to trail the technology in manufacturing. And so what we're finding now today is breakthrough innovation that allows us to use uh, robotics in numerous ways, uh, be that goods to person, the delivery of goods to pick stations instead of having people walk the entire facility. And now we're in the process of replacing the picker. It uh, is actually reaching into the bin and fulfilling the order. We're using six axis robots and vision system. Uh, some of the areas in lights out for fulfillment that still needs some further uh, definition and in, quite frankly, some improvement and reliability to the technology would be putting trailers, uh, value added services. Uh, those require the human touch at the moment. Uh, but as we continue to innovate, that will eventually become totally lights out.